guys, welcome. It's Montana with Sawyer's Garage. Uh, just doing a real quick uh, trailer build video today. Today is Sunday. I uh, don't really have a whole lot of time today. Got some some uh, personal family stuff kind of going on. Um, so my time to work on this trailer this weekend was limited, although there really isn't much to work on right now um, until I decide what I'm going to do with the tongue weight issue on the front, which I think I'm going to put a toolbox up there. Um, and, and load it with supplies and things like that. That should hopefully add some tongue weight. So when this thing is traveling empty, uh, there's no issues there. But uh, basically all I'm gonna be doing today, let me flip my camera view around, is uh, when I put this mesh on, I basically have only tacked it, uh, you know, in a bunch of spots. But it's all basically just tacked. Um, it was brought to my attention by my uh, my mechanical engineer, that's in quotes, that uh, even though it's welded in, in several different spots, those tacks uh, will likely break because there's probably not a whole lot of penetration on those tacks. And then one will break, and the next one will break, and the next one will break, and the next one will break, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to come in here and basically run like inch long beads down here. That way I've tied these in a little more. And so I'm gonna do that uh, down as many of the uh, support beams as I possibly can. And then I can paint that back ramp and then everything will basically be painted minus the inner fenders, which I need to pull these wheels back off of. Because right now they're currently not painted. But that's kind of where what I'm going to get done today because I don't think that should take too awfully long and then I may tackle this mess that has built up over the course of this pro well I shouldn't say that some of it was definitely already here before I started the project and I really should have cleaned it all up first and I didn't uh, but now this project's coming to an end I'd like to get things back where they belong so I can have my garage back and can you other projects here shortly so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work Guys, I am back. Trailer's out of the garage, finally. I went ahead and said, screw it. After I was done painting, pulled it all the way out of the garage, went through, swept up uh, the garage on both sides. Ignore that, that's from snow dripping off on it. Feels good. Have my garage back. I got some of that taken care of. I still got a bunch of uh, my automotive tools, I gotta put back. My toolbox is a disaster. But that seems like a project for another day. So that's basically it. Um, obviously I do still have some minor things I need to tweak on the trailer. Like I said uh, earlier in my intro, mainly being I need to add tongue weight, which I think I am going to do so by putting a toolbox up front which will actually be nice to be able to have some uh, some extra storage that's not in the truck um, for certain things that I might be carrying with me. So straps and things of that nature. So, but I'm excited. My project's basically done. It's been taking up a lot of my weekends here. So that's kind of why I took a break on it this weekend because uh, I got some, some family related things that I'm taking care of this weekend. So I am excited. That it is basically done. I don't have to worry about, hey, you gotta hurry up, get it done, get it done, get it done, because there's some things that I, I wanna use it for here in like the next like month or two. And uh, you know, when I first started the project, it was gonna be this super quick, like, dude, we're gonna knock this out in like a weekend, maybe two, super quick. We're just gonna add some metal, later deck, build some sides. It's gonna go fast. Wrong. 
as with any project. So um, basically, it's done. Uh, it is usable. I can absolutely load things on it and use it. Um, obviously, I'm going to mess with the tongue weight. Before I load anything heavy on it, I am going to replace the actual tongue itself that hooks onto my ball. So I want to go to a 2 and 5 16 as well as that one that's on there is not rated for 5,000 pounds. I basically put money on it. Thus, it's basically a light duty trailer right now, currently in its current state. That being said, the trailer itself is built to handle it. So not a big deal. I'll just have to cut that one off, weld a new one on. They're like 150 bucks down at my local tractor supply. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that. Whenever the time does come, I need to put something heavy on there uh, or I get around to it. So that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a wrap. And then now we can get started on the next project. So stay tuned, find out. Mm-hmm.